which is a project that I run for UCON um, funded by JISC. Um, we did a 12 month project last year. Um, this is just a little bit about me to put me in context and, and why I landed up with the Metadata Forum and I've been Metadata. I work for UCON at the University of Bath um, and I'm a research officer there and I started my work with them working on the repository support project, very much on the practical side of institutional repositories. Um, that kind of got me into metadata as a bumbling amateur um, and I've kind of fumbled along generally trying to talk to people about that ever since. Um, the metadata forum, as I said, is run by me at UConn, funded by GISC. The aim is to build a community of practice around metadata, around what people are actually wanting to do and the problems that they've got with it at the moment. We have a forum blog with the, the URL there, uh, which gives general information about stuff that we run. Um, it's for everyone that works with metadata in any way. Um, and it's for any level of knowledge and experience, although more of that later. Um, uh, we actually started the forum last year at the... Um, okay, <laughs> you can't see the picture, sorry. Um, we started the forum last year at the Open Repositories Conference in Madrid when we launched it. We were slightly sidetracked by the fact that there was another big event going on that night, which was Spain winning football, but um, so we ran the forum anyway, we did get people there. We did get 14 people attending, which I'm very pleased with at a huge conference with the football as well. So um, people from we got people from England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, and the USA, it was an international conference. Um, the were many discussions about metadata, even though we only had an hour. Um, the one that particularly sticks in my mind is about the complexity and simplicity um, where we had suggestions for Zen metadata, um, where we, we streamline things and make it more simple, especially for our end users. We also ran a session at the Repo Fringe last year. Um, we did a round table session and we looked at metadata for time-based objects and the aggregation of metadata. And we were helped by Sheila Fraser of Adina, with that apology for the misspelling Sheila's name on that. Um, and then we got a lot of different people there. We also tried something new, uh, which was uh, taking part in a remote session at an e-conference, uh, which was a bit mixed. It was interesting. Um, we had, uh, again, it was with Jackie Wickham of RSP that I did that. Um, we had a basic metadata startup was our briefing. Um, yeah, we, it was interesting, not sure we'd do it again. Um, we did a complex object meeting in York where we looked at images, audio and video, and learning and teaching objects. Despite the snow, this was packed. We got about 25 people there in probably what was one of the most snowiest um, Fridays that we had in December. Um, but it was a very popular event, and this is one of the things that we've actually been asked to do again and in more detail, and maybe look at these areas separately. We also experimented by doing um, a hack event at the start of the Dev AP developers uh, event run by GIS. Um, we got practitioners and developers working together and the idea was for people to come along with problems and find their perfect partner for the solution. Um, we kicked off with a one day event and then over the next two days there was a developer challenge running on that, so that's three days to work on it and all. We got some great entries into that challenge. Um, we got people embedding uh, geospatial image metadata within maps and also a lot of other good stuff that was going on. You can actually read more about that on the blog. Running the forum for a year, um, we did learn stuff. There's a gap between novice and expert. There's an area where people are kind of experienced practitioners, but they wouldn't call themselves an expert in metadata. Um, they want something more than the beginner guide style. This is where the forum seems to be doing quite a lot of good work. Um, we've now got just funding for the forum to continue for another 12 months with a new programme. I'm going to look at the same informal community-led approach that we had before because that's been popular and, and successful. I do hope to get the metadata mass fall in there at some point, so um, you never know, keep watching for that. Um, looking at the moment for ideas, um, the things that I'm thinking about are this gap between the novice and expert and people needing to talk at the forums. Uh, this has been very important in the meetings, people actually talking, um, with much more to explore. Um, we did almost feel like we were running a little therapy session sometimes at the beginning because everyone had just come and pour out all their metadata woes to us. Um, one idea is to have more of the focus meetings where we pick a, a theme that's been suggested by people. Images, music, scientific data is a quite popular one at the moment. And anything else that, that people are interested in, if you've got ideas, let me know. Um, another idea is micro communities. We've got the forum and we're building a general community of practice, but um, other areas of shared expertise, niche 
niche areas within this where we could build smaller communities. Um, the kind of things where a group of people that you know you could go to for hands-on help who maybe tackle the problems you're looking at. Um, I'm currently working on a Dublin Corp workshop, uh, a kind of overview and introduction to Dublin Corp for the BCMI conference in September. And I'm thinking of doing, taking the content and trialling it online to see whether that would be useful for people. Um, and if the kind of the format works, again, maybe we could get experts in to tackle different areas that people are interested in. Um, so please join in and let me know um, what you want to find out about, what you could share knowledge about, if you've got any areas of expertise and any ideas that you've got, any problems that you've got. I've tried to be positive saying ideas, it might be more truthful to say problems, stresses, strains, is there anything we could help you with? Um, we have a blog for the forum, we're also on Twitter uh, at the Tobata Forum and you can email me at my Yukon address um, with, with any ideas or just to find out a bit more about the work. It really has been a community led thing which has been, you know, like Sendra's success. And every event that we've won has followed on from 